Good morning, y'all. You might notice a change of scenery this morning. We had a little break on the tile job, so I had a client call me that had some roofing shingles that had blown off with all the wind we had the other day, so I am up on a roof this morning. Luckily, it's a very beautiful, bright, sunny day. I'm loving it. This is absolutely the most gorgeous weather. Good day to be up on a roof. I guess I can't complain too much. However, after this, I do have to go to the dump and drop off a truckload of trash that I tried to drop off yesterday. But we got there and the line was about a quarter mile long. So I had remembered that Georgetown has a dump station or a transfer station. So I decided to go there and found out this morning that they have a $40 uh, rock fee added to my bill because I had tile in the back of my truck. Uh, that's on top of the $27 regular dump fee. So I opted to forego the 70 plus dollars and just go back to Hutto. So hopefully I don't have to wait in that big long line today. So what we have going on is some shingles had blown up with this, uh, the heavy winds we had the other day. We had, I guess around 40 to 50 mile an hour winds the other day. So. I've had a few clients call and said they have some folded back and busted up shingles, so that's what we're going to replace today. So today's January 26th, my birthday, and guess where I am? I am working, yay! I was planning on taking the day off because we're waiting on tile on this job site, um, but I've got three jobs I have to go to today. This is the one where we did the shower and stuff, we're still working on it, but I've got to float some walls one more time for the shelves to go up at some point. But I've got another client, if you recall, about a month ago we finished up a bathroom remodel and we did a zero entry uh, shower where basically it's flat and then it slopes down towards the back end. Well what has been happening is she's got a really powerful shower head that's been pushing the water outside of the back of that shower. So I have to go build a little curb stop, a little lip on that today to uh, keep the water from basically flooding her entire bathroom. So. Uh, that's going to be my projects for today, but I wanted to show you the shower that we got done. We haven't done the tile yet, obviously, but we got the hardy backer up and this product called Red Guard, which basically waterproofs all of the walls. So I did that the other day, and we're waiting on the tile. The tile's been ordered, but uh, it takes about three days to get here, so hopefully by like Friday it should be here so we can start tiling on Monday. But anyway, this is what the Red Guard looks like if you've never seen it before. 
basically what it is is you just roll it on like paint and it creates a rubberized type coating on all of the surfaces so it's just another layer of protection if water happens to get behind the tile for whatever reason that this just helps keep the water off of the walls so just a little something extra we do a lot of tile setters won't do this or don't do this but we actually do um, I don't want them calling me back telling me that they've got water coming out of the walls or something like that so just a little extra stuff that we do to make sure that doesn't happen so anyway and here's the walls are going to be floating if you recall before there was a shower here now that commode does not go there obviously it's just there because it goes in there but we're going to have shelves back in here about 16 inch deep shelves and I'm going to have five of them there used to be a shower right here shower pan shower walls everything's gone new sheetrock up taped and floated i got one more float today and then I'll texture it and then we'll start hanging shelves here this next week, hopefully. There you have it. The walls are floated, hopefully for the final time. Actually it turned out pretty good. I was worried about this corner corner actually turned out really good. It's going to look good when it's all dry and textured. Curb stop is in. Hopefully that's going to be enough to keep out all the water that she said was getting out. It's got about a one inch lip now, so hopefully it works. Only time will tell. <laughs> 